six. So we could see a few more like optimal conversions from him, but it looks like we're seeing game one on Town City. Pink Fresh versus Angel Cortez. Yeah, man, a Angel is actually really deadly with the uh, Baidu. He was doing that in our set. It really? actually looked pretty. Yeah, it looked pretty scary. Man. You'll, you'll see him using it. Yeah, he's been using it. Huh? And it's just been, it looks crazy. Very interesting. Oh, oh wow, okay. that was a very. I didn't know you could even punish Bayonetta side B that way. Well, the hitbox stops being active like once she hits connects to your shield. So if she's that close to you, you can get a lot more punishes off of it than people realize. It's a safe move, but you know there are instances where it can be punished. Ooh, and good job by Pink Fresh recognizing that he wasn't going to get anything off of it and landing safely away from Angel Cortez. Oh, uh, Bats Within calling out that, uh, like, kind of roll on that and yeah. already getting more and more percent on him. Um, but as we saw in the last set, Bayonetta, one of the things that was not nerfed is her damage. So Pink can hold this damage and, you know, still be fine. All it takes one down tilt to get it started. Oh, and smart stuff from Angel. Got the trip on Pink Fresh, recognized that he didn't wasn't in a position to actually get F smash or anything super hard, so just down smash just covered two options at once. Now one of the unique things about this matchup on top of that is that the banana hits Bayonetta, Bayonetta in a really weird way. So sometimes conversions won't work, but if you time it just like that, charge just like that, Pink's gonna be down to stock. Only 33% or so was on Angel before the string started. Oh my gosh, that was so smart by Pink, uh, it, was, it was so pretty to watch, and he's going to get a second attempt. Is he going to be able to get the edge guard? And he almost does. Beautiful DI coming in from Angel. He slips on Banana, trying to run through, uh, get that up smash on him. And it looks like he tried it again right there, and both these players are kind of dropping punishes. Yeah, a little oh, miscue is going around. <laughs> yeah. Nair to fair. It's nice. Uh, oh, my okay. goodness. Is he going to be able to get it? it? He was so close to it. Angel kind of did a little bit of DI and air dodge to evade it, though. Yeah. It looks like Angel's been landing this matchup, too. You know, you can't just evade MDVA and not know the bad matchup. Yeah, Angel actually has been laughing the character, too. So he kind of knows what her in and outs are. Yeah. I mean, speaking of that, he was completely ready for that double jump up air that came through from Pink. Didn't bait anything right there. I'm surprised that Mare didn't kill. Yeah, that was like the DI that he needed to yeah. make miracles happen. Because if he was 1% higher, he probably would have died to that. And it looks like Pink is going to have to... He's hes not going to be able to really bait Angel. Angel's not that type of player, and he's a very smart player. Good stuff right there. Yeah, Angel. one of the few moves that can beat out the kick on that. Uh, looks like he went in a little bit of a higher angle. Yeah, he kind of just snuck it in right over the, right over the toes. Mm -hmm. Right in the cap. And, and this is the chance that he needs to get something started in these strings. Talk about a nerf character still putting in that work. Oh my god, 0-61. Just like that, but Angel staying composed, finally starting his own offense. But you know, we're about to see the Smash 4 class come into play where it wasn't close at first, but it's about to be close because Rage <laughs> is becoming more and more of a factor every time Angel hits Pink. And um, both these play or Diddy doesn't really have a lot of kill confirms that nah. are dependent on Rage, so I feel like the ball's a little bit more in his court. Yeah, he has like the bear, the like. Which time and all this stuff, whereas, you know, up till, or he has to confirm a banana. Yeah. That is one thing that's going to so. matter. Um, because of, oh, and you saw right there, it looked like Pink was kind of ready for the banana toss, but he does have the option to witch time it. Which, no. Oh, oh, what? Is there I, anything? Oh, okay. I, okay. I, I don't know. That was kind of questionable. Oh, no. Wow. Not like that. Wow. A, a massive scramble situation off stage. Whoa. Wow. Give Angel Cortez the game one in a very close nail biter uh, game. That was crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> Pink thought he had it, and then he... That was crazy. No, I thought it was really I'm surprised he went for that punish, actually, because I don't think he could have still got anything off of the side B there. Yeah, I think he just kind of wanted the positioning, but the real uh, kicker in that was the trump that was forced. I guess he just didn't expect Angel to grab the ledge just yeah. like that. But, you know, Pink looks like he knows what he did wrong. He's going to uh, run it back to Town City yet again. Oh, wow. Instant 36, just like that. String is pretty beautiful. <laughs> yeah, Diddy can rack up some damage. Like, people are saying he's one of the best characters in the game, and Angel actually has been making a case for it, along with like all the other great Diddies out there. But Zenodo. Yeah, MVD. Zero. List it goes on and on. <laughs> yeah. C three PO. He's he's getting good. He's actually a, like <laughs> a, he's a really good player in my opinion. I was gonna mention him too. Yeah. Hey man, I, I, I was waiting for that. I like to troll that man. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and right now, who is not trolling is Andrew Cortez, only at eight percent. We saw his uh, position last game. All it takes is one down tilt, some air dodge pressure. Two I pointers. don't know how this man is starting these new combo, these 1.16 <laughs> combos. It's just 
I really like what he's doing because it's all frame traps. Like, not a lot of characters can throw out a button and have it uh, beat the forward air in that instance. So you're just forcing people to, like, air dodge and take some damage, or just eat these bears and some damage. Pick your poison. Oh, he tried to be a little overzealous right there. Angel did get the better of it. Whoa, oh, I don't even know how that man did it. That was a Houdini grab. <laughs> Bayo's pivot grab is really close to her body for some reason. It'll catch people who are, like, almost inside of her. All right, and the match has been slowed down a little bit. Both players trying to find the opening to get something done. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Goes for the read of a lifetime, does not get it, and pays for it almost with his life. Yeah, but thankfully, he um, didn't get that last little pummel in because that was really close to the fourth throw that he needed. Another pivot grab, forcing Angel Cortez high in the air, and let's see how he's going to land with the barrels. He's going to land like a grown man. <laughs> I'm going to hit you. Got to let him know sometimes, you know? Good Nair coming in from Pink Fresh. Edgard attempt. Angel not giving it to him, though. And the forward air and extra damage. And this is when it's scary again. Oh. That's just what he needed. The first wish time of the set. And that one's going to take the stock in this game, too. And that was really smart of him. So he was aware of the fact that, obviously, he did two B moves in the air. Angel's going to try to punish the landing. And he said, but I think you're going to do it a little too early. And I'm going to witch time you for it. It's Wh one of those, like, long con uh, mind games, you know? Because he never really did it before. But the one time he did... Got him what he needed. And Bananas can be Witch Time, which is very fortunate for him. Mm -hmm. And now he is out there trying to end this whole game. Angel is like, I still got some fight left, though. You're at 190. You're already at max rage. It's, it's not going to matter at this point. And back throw is definitely going to take it, 200%. And um, Angel sitting at 60%, not too bad. Could have been worse. He does these combos for breakfast. Yep. What Let's speak the of combos. Was that forward here to reverse up there? Yep. That worked pretty fast, too. Just knowing how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and getting some big time damage coming in. Has him at 112. Oh Went for the God. up smash read. Barely missed spaced it. That would have been such a good way to finish this match. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Down tilt to RAR or back air, and that's going to do it. I think. That looked true, too. Nice stuff. That did look true. <laughs> yes. That was pretty slick. I kind of think that was um, a DI mix-up by um, Pink Fresh. Yeah, by Pink Fresh. Because if he DI'd away, he would have been in the worst position, and Angel definitely burned his jump. He would have had to side beat backstage, and I feel like Pink would have been ready for that edge guard on top of that. Yeah. Here we go, game three. And just back and forth, these guys, man. I, I can't even call it. Yeah, this one's going <laughs> to be a tight battle. And I'm really liking the adjustments that Pink is making, because it looks like Bale's kind of been changed from a combo character, like, you know, combo to death character, but it looks like yeah. she still has dozens of frame traps, and that's what you need to excel. And it's going to allow him to get the damage. That's what's going to keep Bayonetta relevant, is the fact she can get the damage as fast as people essentially are killing, you know? So I'm yeah. going to kill you at 80 with five hits. Well, I'm going to do five combos to get you to 130 so I can kill you. <laughs> She's still a good character, man. Don't sleep. Oh, and he tried to go for the witch time. Angel Cortez calling him out and getting like 20% off of it. Ooh. Another ban <laughs> banana to grab. And, uh... and I, li I like the mix up. Yo, this time I'm going to call out your witch time. The next time I'm going to throw it because you're not going to witch time. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he's baiting for side bait. Yep. Oh, oh, no. Diddy's just a bit too short for that to work. I hate it when that happens. Oh, right under the hat. Yeah, shorter characters, if they hold in and then air dodge, sometimes they'll just, like, be too low in their landing lag. Yeah. That's unfortunate, man. That's like some Game & Watch Olimar stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bayo has a lot of, like, unfortunate stuff with their hitboxes on her smashes, yeah. but doesn't look like Pink's sweating it too much. Oh, doesn't DI well and enough. that all started off of the edge guard attempt that he missed. He, he tried to call out Angel Cortez going low, went for the back air, missed it, and then Angel... Oh, my goodness! Hey. But Pink reading him for days, come through with an up smash, charging it even a little bit for good measure. We got pretty much an even game. I feel like he was saving that till now, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know so much as he was saving it because he did go for it a couple times yeah. before. It just never connected. <laughs> oh. Well, that was the first time off of a down tilt, at least. You know. That is true. Which I guess makes sense. You are gonna try to just air dodge naturally when a combo starts. And wow, at Angel saying that's my banana. You're not gonna throw it at me, boy. <laughs> and Pink Fresh is like, we can play that game as well. Guys, is back with doesn't get any damage off of it. You don't get to be one of the best Diddy Kongs without knowing how to catch the banana. I was like, it's one of the... Oh, no! Oh, okay. Set up. And Angel, <laughs> ironically enough, he was actually faking that setup several times throughout the set. You would always see him put the banana at the edge and then not commit to a down air, 